hello lovelies and welcome to my tutorials for today i trust you guys are doing wonderfully well i want to sincerely appreciate you guys for watching my videos thanks for the time you put into my videos and also thank you for the likes for the comments thank you also for subscribing and if you are yet to subscribe please i'm still begging you help me and click on that red icon on your phone to subscribe and also touch the bell so you get notifications as soon as i upload so to the business of the day today we shall be talking about the calculation of the radius of a circle the reason i'm bringing forth this tutorial is because subsequently i shall be making lots of circle tops circle sleeves and circle skirts and i wouldn't want us to get confused along the way so let's get started first the formula for calculating the radius of a circle is c equal to 2 pi r this is the formula for calculating the radius of a circle and i'm going to go forward to explain the meaning of all of these letters and figures all right c simply means circumference c simply means circumference and what do we mean by circumference circumference is the measurement around your body assuming you want to make a circle skirt the circumference of your circle skirt should be the measurement around your waist now it has formed your circumference also if you want to make maybe a circle sleeve the circumference you should work with is the measurement around your armhole round about it so having established the value for c i'm going to talk about pi sorry my marker is not too bright i'm going to talk about pi and the pi already has an established value by mathematicians and what is that value 3.142 this is the value for pi 3.142 so anywhere you see pi just know that it represents 3.142 and then radius what do we mean by radius this r here radius simply means the distance from any part of the the distance from the center of the circle to any part of the circle i need to explain it to you now you have a circle like this i hope you can see it and now this is the center of your circle the distance from this center of the circle to any part of this circle be it to this place be it to this place is your radius whether here or here is your radius i hope you are getting it all right so let's get on with it having established all of this what we are going to talk about now is how to calculate this radius and here we go c equal to two bracket open 3.142 which is our pi and r now c is our circumference c equal to this 3.142 times 2 or 3.142 plus 3.142 i hope you are getting me that is 3.142 times 2 or 3.142 plus 3.142 that is what it means all right so now what we are going to have is 6.284 r i hope you are following me now this 6.284 since 4 is not up to 5 we are going to have to do away with it and at the end of the day what we should have is 6.28 all right now our radius will now be our radius will now be our circumference over 6.28. This is our radius. Circumference over 6.28. Now, assuming our circumference is 32, it simply means R equal to 32 over 6.28. I hope we are following. Now you are going to divide 32 by 
two eight, and then the answer will now be five point zero nine. If you approximate, it becomes five point one. So if you are working with the circumference of thirty two, your radius should be five point one. I hope we are very very clear. All right, having solved that. I want to use this black material to show us how to use that determined radius. And I want to cut maybe a circle top, a circle sleeve or whatever. And our radius has been determined to be 5.1. I fold the way we normally fold our circle tops, our circle whatever, into four. It simply means that radius from this point it simply means from this point, you measure 5.1 and mark. And you do that all round since it is a radius. Can you see that? All right. Then you now determine the length of your peplum or whatever it is you want to make. If it is 7 or 8 or whatever, you mark round. And at the end of the day, this radius you have here must fit either your waist or your armhole or wherever it is you are fixing it because you got the radius very correct. Thank you. So thank you very much for watching till the end. And if this tutorial has been useful to you in any way, please give us a thumbs up. Also share our videos. And please, I'm still begging, help me and click on the red icon to subscribe. Until we see again in our subsequent class, please do take very good care of yourself and remain blessed. Bye-bye.